algebra lesson natin ngayon, kailangan malaman nyo ang kaibahan ng parallel lines at ng perpendicular lines without actually looking at the graph. Now, by definition, ang parallel lines are lines with the same slope. That's why dito sa aking mga examples, kung mapapansin nyo, yung example number 1 ko, I have y equals 2x plus 5 at y equals 2x minus 7. Ang dalawang linear equation na yan ay of the form slope-intercept form. At mapapansin nyo na ang slope ng dalawang lines na ito ay pareho, which is equal to 2. Now, kung igagraph natin ang line 1 at line 2, mapapansin nyo na si line 1, which is 2x plus 5, ibig sabihin nun, ang ating slope-intercept ay nasa positive 5 at si 2x minus 7 na ang slope intercept ay nasa negative 7 at mapapansin nyo na kapag ka nag-graph natin yung dalawang linya na yan, nakakabuo tayo ng parallel lines. So yan yung isa sa mga mahalagang malaman ninyo tungkol sa behavior ng parallel lines. Kapag pareha sila ng value ng slope, ang inyong graph or ang inyong linear equation will have a parallel lines. Now yung number 2 naman, I have y equals negative 1 half x plus 3 at y equals negative 1 half x minus 3. Now, tulad nga ng sinabi ko, pag titingnan nyo pa lang yung slope ng inyong mga lines in the slope intercept form at kapag pareha sila, ibig sabihin nun, without graphing them, it will be a parallel line or yung dalawang linya to will be parallel to each other. At kung i-graph naman natin at i-verify natin kung talagang parallel lines ang line 1 at line 2, dito sa graph natin na ang y-intercept ay positive 3 at ang y-intercept ay negative 3, mapapansin nyo na yung ating linya ay parallel lines. At yan yung definition ng parallel lines, which is lines with the same value of slope. Now, sa example naman natin ngayon, kailangan natin i-verify kung yung ating mga equations ay parallel sa isa't isa by just doing an algebraic steps or procedure. Tulad ng example number one, I have here y equals negative 3, over 2x plus 2 of the form slope-intercept form. Pero yung aking line 2, 3x plus 2y is equal to 8, ay nasa standard form. So hindi natin basta-basta masasabi na yung line 1 at line 2 ay hindi parallel dahil hindi naman natin nakikita kung yung slope nga nila ay parehas. So wag kayong magdedepende doon sa value ng x kasi kailangan bago kayong mag-judge Kung para parallel yung inyong dalawang lines, kailangan nasa parehas na form yung inyong equation ng lines, which is slope-intercept form at slope-intercept inter form. So since ito ay hindi slope-intercept form, ang gagawin natin is iti-change natin or i-convert -co natin yung ating standard forms sa slope-intercept form. So we need to subtract 3x on both sides, giving us 2y equals negative 3x plus 8. And by dividing both sides by 2, kasi kailangan natin i-isolate si y dun sa equation, our equation will now become y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 4, which is the slope-intercept form of our second line. Now, mapapansin nyo sa step 2, yung aking line 1, which is y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 2, at yung aking converted second line, which is now y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 4, without actually graphing the equations, I know na itong dalawang linya na to ay parallel sa isa't isa kasi pareha sila ng value ng slope. At yan yung isa sa mga application ng algebra sa pagdetermine ng uh, equations kung sila ba ay parallel or hindi. At yung number 2 naman, yung aking first line ay nasa slope-intercept form at yung second line ko ay nasa standard form. So, hindi ko siya basta-basta mako-compare kung ang slope nga nila ay parehas or magkaiba. So, ang una kong gagawin is kukunin ko si line 1 and i-verify ko kung siya nga ay parallel dun sa line 2 by changing this into the slope-intercept form. So, from 5x minus 10y is equal to 15, I will subtract 5x on both sides. So, I'll have negative 10y equals negative 5x plus 15. Since since meron pa akong negative 10 dun sa y, i-divide ko yung isa-isa ng negative 10 para ma-cancel ko si negative 10. Leaving me with y equals 5 over 10 can be simplified into 1 half. And since it's two negatives, it becomes positive. So now I have 1 half x minus 15 all over 10. Since hindi ko na naman pwede i-simplify ito dahil siya ay improper fraction. Now, yung step number 2 ko, i-compare ko na ngayon kung yung line 1 ko ay parehas ng slope sa line 2. So, yung line 1 ko is negative 1 half x plus 3 over 2. At yung second line ko naman na aking kinonvert 
is y equals 1 half x minus 15 over 10, which makes our slope different. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung line 1 at line 2 ay hindi parallel sa isa't isa dahil yung ating mga slopes ay hindi parehas. So, yan yung aking examples ng pag-analyze kung ang linya ay parallel or hindi sila parallel sa isa't isa. Now, yung susunod naman nating behavior will be our perpendicular line. By definition, parallel lines are perpendicular if the product of their slopes is equal to negative 1. So, ang una muna natin kailangan malaman is kung ano ba yung negative reciprocal. So, kung halimbawa meron tayong slope or m is equal to 2 over 3 at hinanap natin ang reciprocal ng fraction na ito, ang reciprocal ng 2 over 3 ay 3 over 2. At dito sa pag analyze ng perpendicular lines, kailangan nating ma-recognize yung negative reciprocal ng ating slope. At ang negative reciprocal ng 2 over 3 is negative 3 over 2. So ito yung gagamitin natin ngayon para ma-determine kung ang ating lines ay perpendicular ba or hindi doon sa dalawang linya. So yung aking second slope, let's say my slope is equal to 5, ang reciprocal ng 5 ay 1 over 5. At ang negative reciprocal ng 1 over 5 will be negative 1 over 5. So once again, ito yung gagawitin natin mamaya sa pagdetermine ng lines na perpendicular sa isa't isa. At yung aking pangalaw, pangatlong um, slope, which is negative 3 over 7, ang kanyang reciprocal ay negative 7 over 3, at ang kanya namang negative reciprocal will be 7 over 3. So ngayong na-establish na natin yung negative reciprocal, tingnan naman natin kung paano natin determine kung yung dalawang lines ay perpendicular sa isa't isa. Now, so number 1, meron akong y equals 2 thirds x minus 3. At yung aking pangalawang line ay y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 1. Now, titingnan nyo uli yung inyong slope kasi yung sa slope madedetermine kung parallel, perpendicular, or neither yung dalawang linya. So, since yung aking slope dun sa line 1 ko is 2 over 3, at yung slope ko sa aking pangalawang line is negative 3 over 2, which is a negative reciprocal, ibig sabihin, itong lines na ito ay perpendicular sa isa't isa. At kapag ginraph natin yung line 1 at line 2, let's go and check the y-intercept which is at negative 3. y equals negative 3. Ito yung ating first line. At yung ating second line na may y-intercept na positive 1, which is right here. Kapag ka nag-graph natin siya using its slope, mapapansin nyo na makakabuo tayo ng perpendicular line. So, ibig sabihin, kahit hindi natin ma-verify or i-graph yung ating linear equations, Pero kung alam natin na yung negative reciprocal ay nag exist doon sa isa sa mga lines, ibig sabihin nun, perpendicular yung inyong mga linya. So yung example number 2 natin, kung titingnan natin, we have y equals 2x minus 2 with the second line as y equals negative 1 half x plus 3. So again, alam natin na perpendicular yung dalawang linya na yan dahil yung ating mga slopes ay negative reciprocal ng isa't isa. At kapag binerify nyo at ginraph nyo sa graphing paper yung ating dalawang linya, yung ating line na merong negative 2 as your y-intercept, at yung ating line na may positive 3 as the y-intercept, kapag ginraph natin yan, makakabuo tayo ng perpendicular lines. At yan yung pag-analyze ng dalawang linya kung sila ay parallel, perpendicular, or neither using algebra.